Hello and welcome. In this video tutorial, we introduce and illustrate the Enhanced For Loop in Java. The Enhanced For Loop was a new language feature introduced in Java version 5. And essentially, the Enhanced For Loop allows you to iterate through a collection or an array without having to create an iterator or without having to calculate in advance the beginning and end conditions for a counter variable. Basically, it's a much easier and simpler form of For Loop. So let me illustrate the enhanced for loop with a very simple example. Let's declare an array of integers. So for simplicity, we call them numbers. Um, and we'll declare numbers from 1 to 10, OK? So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. OK, so that's a simple declaration of an array of numbers consisting of the numbers from 1 to 10 inclusive. OK, so now let's just say I want to iterate through this array from the start to the end and print out each number one at a time. So I know I want to iterate through the entire array. So I don't really need to know the start or the end. I just want to, all I need to know is I want to iterate through every element that's in the array. So this is a prime example uh, from which to use the enhanced for loop. So let me write out the enhanced for loop. So we you write it like this. Let me write it first. int um, value in the array numbers and then we simply say print out the numbers. So system.out.print line the dhg the number is and then value. Okay, that's a very simple example. So what, what are we actually saying here? Basically what we're saying is, for each value in the array numbers, print it out. It's that simple. But we also have to declare the type of the value before we actually declare the value itself. So for each value of type integer in numbers, print it out. Print out the value. So in simple English, the easiest way to read this is, for each value in the array numbers, print it out. So if you notice here, we've no start condition, we've no termination condition with no increment condition as we had with the for loop, the normal for loop. So this is the enhanced for loop. It's a simple example. So let me demonstrate it by compiling it first to verify compile six successfully and then compile and run. And as you can see, it goes through and it prints out all the numbers in the array from one to 10 inclusive. During each iteration of the for loop, the variable value holds the current elements of the array. So for each loop, the first time we enter the array, the very first loop value holds the value of 1, the second time it holds the value of 2, and the third loop it holds the value of 3, and the fourth loop it holds the value of 4, and so on. So as you can see, it's a very simple way of iterating through all the values in an array or a collection. Let me give one more example. I want to demonstrate how the enhanced for loop can loop through an array of any type. So let me change the array from an integer array to a string array. So string array, let's call it languages, an array called languages, and we're going to refer to computer languages. So we have the C language, let me put it in capital C. We have the C++ language. Why not? We're doing Java, so let's write Java. And let's just do one more. Let's write Python. OK, so there is a very simple array of strings. OK, in this case, logically, it represents four programming languages. So this time our type is no longer an int, it's a string. So we type string. We could even just use valuedir if you want. You can choose any variable name that's valid. But we'll just we'll stick it, we'll leave it with value. Uh, let's replace numbers with languages, L-A-N-G-U-A-G-E-S. So for each value in the array languages, print out the value. So in this case, you want to say the language, excuse me, the language is. So it'll give you a very simple idea, okay? And let me compile and run this. It's compiled and ran successfully. And as you can see, the language is C, C++, Java, and Python. So basically, it iterated through from the first element right through to the last and printed them out one at a time. And on the first iteration, once again, 
value had the value of the first element, and the second iteration, the second element, and the third iteration, the third element, and so on. So it's a very simple way to loop through all the values in an array or all the values in a Java collection. I now want to go back to my original example using an array of numbers. And I want to compare and contrast the original for loop with our enhanced for loop that we've presented here. So let me write out the equivalent functionality using the original for loop. So we'd write for and then our initialization statement for, I beg your pardon, int value is equal to zero. Value is less than numbers.lent value plus plus. And then we simply print out the value system.out.println the number is and then we have to write down the array and then the index of the array which is value. So first of all let me compile this and verify that it actually runs so I don't have a typo just to verify I don't have okay that compiles successfully. Okay, I'm now going to run this program so you can see that the output is identical. Maybe I should just put the word original here, just so we can differentiate the output. Sorry, O-R-I-G-I-N-A-L. The original number is, and basically I'm, by original I mean we're using the original for loop as opposed to the enhanced for loop. Okay, so actually let's not be confusing. Maybe I should just prefix this with orig for original. Okay, so I'm going to compile and run this, and let's have a look. It compiles successfully. So we first of all began by processing the enhanced for loop and that prints out the numbers from 1 to 10. Then we continue on and we can see our ridge 1 to 10 and this is the original for loop and the output is identical which is exactly what we would expect. So that's the first point I want to highlight. The last and most important question I guess that we should ask ourselves is when should we use the enhanced for statement? And when should we use the original for statement? Well, the answer, I suppose, is actually in the formulation of the enhanced for loop and the original for loop. In the original for loop, we can specify the starting element in the array we wish to process. We can specify the end, the ter or should I say the termination condition, and that could be the last element we wish to process. And then we can specify the increment statement. So we can either increment by one or increment by two or whatever we want. With the enhanced for loop, we don't have that option. With the enhanced for loop, it simply processes every element in the array, starting from the first all the way to the last inclusive, and it processes them one at a time sequentially, from start to finish. And in fact, so that's the answer to our question. If all we have to do is process all the elements in an array or a collection starting from the first all the way to the last processing them one at a time in sequential order then we can use the enhanced for loop. If we have any other requirements we must use the original for loop. For example if we want to start off at the third element or the fourth element or the fifth element then we must use the original for loop. If we want to stop processing at the seventh element or the eighth element then we must use the original for loop. If we want to process every second element or every third element and not process them one at a time sequentially then we must use the original for loop. So as you can see the only time we can use the enhanced for loop is when we're processing from the first element to the last element of the array or collection inclusive and we process them one at a time in sequential order. That is quite a common scenario, which is why the designers of the Java language introduced the enhanced for loop in version 5 of Java. It's very simple, it's very compact, and it's very easy to read. It simply reads, for each value in the array numbers, process the value. It's that simple. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope it was of benefit to you. Thank you very much for watching.